In this video, we're going to look at power and the two different types of circuits we've been looking at, series and parallel, and what the difference is when we're looking at power. So to start with, let's look at two different Christmas trees. On the left here, we have the Jones's Christmas tree, and the Jones's Christmas tree is set up with series lights. On the right hand side, we have the Phillips Christmas tree, and the Phillips have actually set their Christmas tree lights up in parallel. And we're going to see what the difference would be between the two Christmas trees and their lights. So as we go through this, I'm going to do three bullet points for each of the series and for the parallel so that you can compare the two trees. Because you're going to have to compare series and parallel in your exams and discuss these two things. So let's go ahead. To start with, series circuits with lights, this Christmas tree here is actually going to save power. It uses less power in a series circuit than if you attach the same bulbs in a parallel circuit like with the Phillips. So the Phillips Christmas tree would use more power being in parallel. And the Jones's Christmas tree would save power because it's in series. However, if a bulb blows with the Jones's Christmas tree, they're stuffed. If you take out one of these bulbs, the whole circuit is broken and none of the Christmas tree lights will work. So they would actually have to physically go through every single light in their Christmas tree, finding out which bulb was blown and replace that exact one before they could work, because you've just broken the circuit. So that's a little bit niggly when you're talking about series circuits and lots of bulbs in series. However, in a parallel circuit, if one of the bulbs blows, you've still got a connection between the top bulb and the one underneath the broken one. So that one individual bulb wouldn't work, but all the rest would. So they'll keep working even though one of the bulbs will blow. And that's an advantage for the parallel circuit. And finally, you have dimmer lights when you're talking about lights in series. And the reason that these lights are dimmer is they have less power. They use less power, that's why they save it, but it means that they put less power out in terms of light. So they're actually dimmer. However, if you put these same lights in parallel, these are going to be much, much brighter because they all have the same amount of voltage and voltage is really what dictates power. And that's because we have this power equation here, that power equals voltage multiplied by the current. We also have another formula or definition for power as well, and you might have seen this in mechanics. Power is the energy per second, or the energy divided by time. So something which uses lots and lots of power, like a light bulb, will use lots and lots of energy every second, whereas something that uses less power, like in a series circuit bulb, would use less energy in the same amount of time. Now just so you understand these formulas, the crucial thing is that capital P is power, and that's measured in watts, which you write as a capital W. Voltage is V, measured in volts, and I is the current, measured in amps. So this is power, and the key thing that you need to take away is the formula, and you need to know the advantages and disadvantages of each type of circuit with regards to bright lights or any kind of resistor in this pattern. And just so you know, to be clear, the same P is power down here, but this is energy measured in joules and the T is time measured in seconds. So let's look now at another concept. Here we've got three bulbs in series. Now, if the current is flowing from left across to right, you have the lights glowing. But if we were to make the current go in the opposite direction, the bulb can't work. The bulb doesn't actually go, and it may even break the bulb completely because of the way that they're made. Therefore, what we can do is put in a component which means that the current only goes in one direction, so only flows from left to right. And this component on the left side here is called a diode. Now, a diode only lets current travel in one direction, which is the direction of this big arrow here. So a diode is just a big block arrow with a line in front of it. So if we put this diode in, the current would only flow from left to right in the opposite direction to the orange arrow. So here's what you need to know from this video. You need to know the two equations for power, and most importantly, you need to know the one on the left, that power equals voltage multiplied by current. But you can also know that power is the amount of energy used divided by time, because this one comes up too. Now voltage determines how bright a lamp will be, and that's because of this formula that an increased voltage will mean an increase in power. And hopefully you can remember from previous videos that if you have a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same in each branch. So in each branch of that parallel circuit, or with each lamp, you're going to have a higher voltage and therefore a higher power. That's why the parallel circuit is actually brighter. 
The second thing you need to remember is that lamps in parallel are brighter than lamps in series because of this power equation here. The third thing, lamps in parallel draw more power, again because of this equation. And conversely, lamps in series draw less power than their parallel counterparts. The fourth thing you need to remember is that lamps in parallel can be kept going if a single bulb blows. If one bulb blows in parallel, it doesn't actually matter because the current can just go around it to the alternate pathway. That's what a parallel circuit is. However, if a bulb blows in a series circuit, you're in trouble because there's only one pathway the current can travel through because that's a series circuit. If you blow it, there's nothing left for the current to go and no current can flow through that circuit. And the last thing you need to know is that a diode only lets current travel in one direction. And a diode is this little component down the bottom here. It's an arrow with a line in front of it. And it only lets the current flow in the direction of that arrow. So let's look at a question now. In this question, Mark is camping. Now he's worried that he's going to put a battery in backwards. And to stop this happening, he decides to put a diode in the circuit. Well, in both of these circuits here. So we need to do two things. Firstly, we need to draw a diode correctly in these two blank spots in the circuit. And secondly, we need to discuss which circuit is actually better suited to light generation when Mark is camping. So firstly, let's remember what we know about a battery. With a battery, the long side is positive and the short side is negative. And hopefully you remember that current always goes from positive around to negative. Therefore, we need to put a diode in in that same direction so that the current can flow out of positive through the diode in the right direction in the same direction as that arrow and back around into the negative terminal. And the same is going to happen in this diagram to the left hand side here. We're going to need to go out of positive, the big end, all the way around the circuit back into negative. So we again want it going from right to left. So that's the first part of the answer done. Now we need to discuss which of these two circuits is going to be better for light generation in camping. These are three bulbs here. The circle with a cross in it means a bulb. So which one's going to be better? Well, let's first of all discuss them separately. And you should do the same thing when you're discussing your answer for NCEA. And then we're going to make an overall decision at the end about what we think is best. So let's look at series. In a series circuit, we're going to save power as each of these bulbs is going to use less voltage. But the downside is that each of these bulbs are going to be dimmer because they use less voltage and less power. And the other downside is that if one of these bulbs blows, just for any reason, that means the whole circuit is going to be useless and Mark would be stuck in the dark when he's camping. On the other hand, if we look at a parallel circuit, we're going to use a lot more power because each of these bulbs sucks more power out of the battery. But because we're using more power, it means each of these bulbs will be brighter. And the other benefit is that if one of these bulbs blow, that means that you're still going to have the other two lights going because the current can still travel down the alternate pathways. So now that we know the facts of each of these two circuits, let's make an overall decision. I think that the smart choice would be to choose a parallel circuit as long as he has the power to run it because it means Mark's not going to be stuck in the dark and it means he's going to have some nice bright lights. But equally, you could conclude that the series circuit might be better because if he is camping, maybe he has limited batteries. And therefore, he needs to save his power. And if he does only have three lamps, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out which one had blown. So you could argue either way. The most important thing that you need to remember, though, is that discuss the series circuit with the pros and the cons, then the parallel circuit with the pros and the cons, and then just make a decision on what you think is best and just explain why you think it's best. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of power in series and parallel circuits and you understand what a diode does.